The lights are about to go down inside the bomb factory in Dallas, Texas, where history was made. Legacy Fighting Alliance was born. G'day everybody, Michael Chevello alongside UFC Hall of Famer Pat Militich. Pat, what an epic night history made inside the bomb factory. And we saw a middle school maths teacher, Cameron Miller, come in against Oscar Ramirez and do some damage in very quick fashion. Oh yes we did. I mean, Miller, an analytical, cerebral fighter, so slick with his technique, great boxing skills. Look at that left hook, smoke over the top of the right arm. There it is again, sees the opening, commits to the combination, then goes to work non-stop on the ground until he gets the choke first, then throws the legs in on the way to the ground, secures the finish. Cameron Miller goes 3-0, Oscar Ramirez, his first ever pro loss, he is now 3-1. and one. Up after that, the women's fight between Cynthia Calvillo and Montana Stewart. Stewart tried for the takedowns, but Calvillo was too good, both on the feet and on the ground. Yeah, Calvillo just out quicker, out, out, just better athlete overall, better technique, and probably, to be honest with you, better training partners out at Team Alpha Male. Just using that jab beautifully, even though she didn't have the reach, moving her head when she punched, and when she got the chance to finish, she did so. Calvillo going places. She trains alongside Paige Van Sant, who calls her the next superstar. This was good. Damon Jackson versus Charles Cheeks the third. Jackson likes to go the distance in recent times, but tonight he managed to finish Mr. Cheeks. Uh, his striking looked impeccable. Cheeks a very dangerous guy, but I'm telling you what, Damon Jackson has obviously committed himself to getting back to the UFC, and I wouldn't doubt it if he gets back there quickly with a performance like this. The leech goes 11, one and one. Charles Cheeks the third falls to 11 and six. Beautiful tap out here, Damon Jackson winning the co-main event. The big one, the first time ever, the LFA Bantamweight World Championship. RFA champion Leandro Higo, Stephen Ocho Peterson, the legacy champion. They had an out and out war. Peterson non-stop coming forward, but just getting hit with bombs over and over and over by Higo. Higo thought he was gonna get this fight done by mid-second round, but I tell you what, hand it to Steven Peterson, never giving up, and he had Higo in serious trouble here. Bigger four on the body, standing up, had that choke deep, Michael, but was not able to finish. Higo showed that he had better endurance than we thought also. Not many people thought that Peterson would go the distance. He is a true warrior with an enormous heart, and Leandro Higo, an absolute beast. He becomes the inaugural LFA bantamweight champion. Join us next Friday night, we're in Minnesota, it's LFA number two.